my channel. Today we're talking about um, the top running gear for runners. It's kind of the more essential gear that you're going to want to have when you start running. So let's get right into it. Probably the very first thing you're going to buy when you start running and it is the running shoe. Now there are tons and tons of different running shoe brands out there, companies, um, and it can be quite overwhelming. I know myself when I first started running, I went through multiple different pairs of shoes trying to find the one that worked for me and that's kind of what you have to do because everyone's feet are different so one a shoe that works for someone else may not work for you. So if you have a running shoe store close to you, I would recommend going to a shoe store and having someone help you find the right shoe for your foot. If you need extra support, if you need extra cushioning, if you know, all that stuff, they will help you. If you do not have a running shoe store close by, like me, I live out in the country, um, here are a few things that uh, you kind of want you may want to get when you're starting out for me when I first started running um, I wanted more cushioning uh, So, you know as you can see on this shoe. This is the Brooks running uh, Ghost 11. I believe um, There's a lot more cushioning down here um, so that when you're running on roads um, You you kind of have more give when you hit the ground because of all this cushioning. Uh, there are some shoes that have a, you know, not as wide heel, so that you would feel the pavement more as you're running. And some people like that. They kind of like the more barefoot running. They like to feel the pavement more. I, myself, like more cushioning. So that's something that you're gonna wanna take into account. Don't want your feet, you know, moving around a lot in the shoe. You want them snug, but not too tight to where, um, you know, you're cutting off your circulation or whatever. One thing that I do recommend people do when they buy a shoe is get um, a little bigger size than they would normally get a normal shoe. I like to go up a half size because when you are running, your feet can swell a little bit and um, <clears throat> you want to give it a little wiggle room or your toes a little room to expand uh, when you're running. Also, when you hit the pavement, your toes um, naturally expand a little bit when you hit the pavement and that's just kind of a shock absorber so you want to make sure that you do have a little room um, I like to you know maybe put two fingers kind of like that um, and make sure you have a little room up there for your toes to expand um, but you know it's kind of all just about trial and error unless you do have a shoe store that you can go and have someone check your feet out but for me I like the Brooks running shoe it's what's worked for me um, I've actually bought this exact shoe like three times once you find something that works for you I would stick to it then for trail running I think the number one brand for me anyway is Solomon uh, shoe this is oh gosh mission three this is X mission three from Solomon um, as you can see on the bottom, it has a lot more grip than, let's say, the, the road running shoe. A lot more grip for when you're on trails. So that's kind of what you want to look for when you're on trails so you don't slide around as much on the loose dirt. But uh, Solomon also makes some great kind of water resistant shoes for trails that I actually really want to get here soon so that when you're on trails, if you go into a little creek or something, it'll resist the water on your shoe, which is really nice. But um, when you're doing a trail shoe, I would look for a little more stability, maybe especially in the ankle area, because um, you're gonna be more on uneven surfaces. But uh, Solomon, I would highly recommend for a trail shoe. There you have it on shoes. Those are the shoes I love. Next, let's talk about hydration, hydration packs. Um, if you are going on a run for two to three miles um, you don't really need to bring water with you unless you you know get dehydrated easily or you tend to get thirsty quicker um, but anything over three miles I, I personally would recommend taking some water with you um, and most people don't like to hold a water bottle when they're running it's just awkward and kind of messes with your form so 
these are some running packs and belts that I have used that I really like. You don't have to be a marathon runner or an ultra runner to use a running pack. Um, I think people who run 5Ks, 10Ks, if they want to wear a running pack, that's great. I mean, it's whatever works for you. So, um, sorry, my dog is being a pain in the butt today. Stop, be quiet, I'm, I'm doing a video. Okay, so first let's start off what, what I first started using when I was a beginner runner. Um, my very first belt I got was of Nathan's, Nathan's uh, runner's belt here, pink. And this you just tie around, you know, clip around your waist. And it's got, it comes with these little, these are nine ounce, nine ounce, 10 ounce little water bottles that you put right in the pocket here. Um, now I first started using this with this on the front and that wasn't comfortable at all. So then when I moved this to go on my back, that was much more comfortable, just a little tip for you. Um, but it has the little pack up front. You can put your cell phone or headphones or whatever you want in there. Chapstick. Oh, I just found some chaps. Oh, cool. Anyway, um, and then it has these little strings here. Like if you're wearing a jacket, you could, you could stuff it in one of these little ropes on the side or whatever. Um, so did a little storage area on here, but it's a great belt. Um, if you're not doing, you know, super long distance, uh, you can carry enough water to sustain you for a good amount of time. Um, yeah, so this is a great running belt and it's pretty cheap. Got this on Amazon. Nathan is a great brand. Um, is a Nathan's um, water bottle that has this little pouch attachment. So you can slip your hand in here and then you could tighten it and it keeps kind of, you don't really have to hold on to it because of the, the strap there, but this way you can run with your water bottle and it has um, a pouch where you can keep your phone and your keys, whatever in there. I have some peanut butter in here from a previous run. But so when I'm in training and I'm only going for five miles, you know, even up to, I could probably go 10 miles with just this amount of water. I think this is 20 ounces. Um, I'll just bring this along with me and it works great and it's super comfortable. By Nathan again, so that, that you can get on Amazon. My next pack I got when I started increasing my mileage to training for a marathon um, is another thing from Nathan. This is a Nathan's running pack. This is um, a lot more serious here, um, but it, you put the water bottles. So let me just put it on real quick. Hi for now. Put the water bottles up in the front here. So you just put it on and then it has these larger water bottles that you just stick right in there. And it's got storage all over the place on this thing. It's got a little pocket here. Um, it's got a little pocket here for chapstick or whatever, a key. And then when you, on this side, it's got your big pouch um, that you can keep. It's got actually two different uh, pouches in there. This is a great, great pack. I use this for a long time. And I actually used this in my very first ultra run um, not too long ago. Uh, and it was a 50k, 32 miles, the North Face 50k, and it worked great. And I got the Salomon S Lab um, running sleep pack here. It's not really a pack, it's kind of like a shirt almost. But anyway, I'm gonna put this one on for you. This is, I wish you could feel the fabric, it's super soft and super light. Like, like seriously, it's like you're wearing a shirt. Um, it's got mesh on the inside very breathable um, and I've you know thrown this in the washers multiple times it washes great you just put it on like that and this one has these um, kind of collapsible water bottles you can just slip it into your pocket here and you got your water and so you got two pouches on the side it's also got tons of storage space um, pockets and then uh, on the back what has a zipper right here and then on the back you have um, this pouch right here you can put stuff in and there's a zipper here I usually put my phone in there 
Um, so plenty of space. I mean, you could stuff the things because the fabric is so stretchy that you can really stuff stuff in here. So great pack. And what I love most about this is how lightweight it is. So if you're in ult getting into ultra running, really long distance running, this is awesome because it's so lightweight and so breathable. I mean, the mesh on this, I mean, you could, it feels like you're not even wearing anything. So really highly recommend the Salomon S Lab. And let's talk about headphones. When I started running, I was just using my like uh, Apple iPhones that, you know, the wire, the white headphones, and they work fine. Um, but I started to get annoyed with the, the wires. Um, these are the True Wings by Sound Beats, and ah, comes with a case, a chargeable case, and they're in there, and you just take them out. There's no wires, they're Bluetooth, and super, super nice, and you just put them in. They stay in your ear really, really, really well. It came with three different ear bud sizes to best fit your ears. But once you put them in the case, they start charging. So really, really awesome. These are great headphones. They were like $40 on Amazon. So for Bluetooth wireless headphones, that's pretty good. But if you're just starting out running and you don't want to spend a lot of money, um, you know, the Apple headphones are great, any headphones. And um, a lot of times on my runs outside, I don't wear headphones because it's a lot safer if you could hear the traffic and cars around you that are coming. So just just be mindful if you are wearing headphones out on your runs to be careful. Not taking a running pack or water bottle or anything on your run if you're just going for a few miles and you just want to go out and run, but you want to take your phone to listen to your music. Um, I used to get these bulky armbands, but I found these arm sleeves on Amazon. This like less than ten dollars. But you put your you just slide your phone in here and then you just slide it on your arm and they're super comfortable and that way you can take your phone with you on a run if you don't have your pack. Um, just like that. And they have different sizes. So these are great. So I have this pink one and I also have this this sleeve where you lift the flap, put your phone in there, and you're good to go. And then you just slide it on. Um, you could also, if you don't want to put your phone in here, you could put your keys in here, ID, um, whatever it is you want to, a little something you want to bring, you can even fit, you know, a gel in here. Uh, so these are really cool. They're really comfortable. You don't really feel like you're wearing anything and a um, little extra storage space. So these are really cheap on Amazon. You can get different colors and yeah, love those. So you're going on early morning runs or late night runs out and there's cars and traffic around you. Um, it's really important to be seen and to be um, reflected. So I got these Amphipod um, reflective ankle bracelets. Um, you just wrap them around your ankle or your arms and they reflect when light hits them so cars can see you. It's so important to be safe when you're running out there, um, especially if it's early morning or at night. Let's talk about running clothes. Um, when you're just starting out running, you really don't need a lot, just whatever is comfortable. But when you really start getting serious, these are some of my favorite running clothes that I have bought that I just have worn over and over and over and over again. If you're running in early morning or at night, I really, really recommend getting either wearing clothes or getting a vest like this, or like I said, wearing these that are reflective. It's a, a reflective vest that I got. I know it's not the prettiest, but they also I think had like hot pink. I really recommend wearing one of these morning runs or if it's raining, having a really lightweight waterproof, water resistant jacket. I have like a few different jackets, but this one I really like because again, it has a reflective um, lime green on it and people can see you when they're driving by and it's super lightweight, super breathable. Um, and when you get hot, you can really scrunch this up small and stick it in your pack if you have one or tie it around your waist, whatever. This is like a mesh tank top. I really love this tank top. It is from Solo Sport. Um, so it's just, you know, white mesh, really breathable tank top. And then I have a couple of these. These I got actually at a race. These long sleeve mesh um, 
shirts. These are from Expert Performance. They're so breathable. They keep you warm, but also when it starts getting warm out, they can keep you cool too, if that makes sense. But I am all about breathable um, clothing. So this is a pair of shorts that I got on actually on Amazon. They're not super short and they're high-waisted. Um, and they also have a pocket on the side you can stick your phone in. And what I love about these is they don't ride up when you're running. Lots of shorts that I've found. Uh, once you start running, they like ride up and it looks like you're wearing flipping underwear when you're running. They have a spandex material and they're really stretchy. So I really like wearing these. Pair of Under Armour uh, leggings that I have. These are my absolute favorite long leggings for when it's cold out. Really breathable again, really stretchy, really comfy. So I re recommend going out and investing in a good pair of pant leggings for when it's cooler. I always also like to wear a hat when you're running out in the sun. Um, it protects your skin, it protects your face from the sun, it protects your hair, just, you know, and they look cool. They're like, ooh, I'm a runner because I'm wearing a really cool Adidas hat and it just makes you look like sporty. And I love hats, I love them. This one is like really breathable on the top. It's stretchy, meshy, so it doesn't leave you super hot. I'm gonna leave all the links to most of these items as much as I can much as I can find um, in the description box so you guys can go check them out yourself. The last thing for apparel is sunglasses. Sometimes I wear sunglasses, sometimes I don't. Just kind of depends. If I'm wearing a hat, I won't wear sunglasses because my I'm shaded, but if I'm not wearing a hat, I'll wear sunglasses. Um, I love Gooder brand for sunglasses. These ones are really old, um, so they're kind of scratched a little bit, but I love the Gooder styles. They have like cool colors, and these are pretty cheap for running sunglasses. These are like 20 bucks. Um, you can get them. Uh, I don't think you can find these on Amazon, but uh, the, just go to the Gooder website. I'll leave it in the description box. But I love the Gooder sunglasses, and they're really stylish and cool. Um, so these are, and they're super lightweight, and they don't, they don't fall off your face when you do head banging, you know, because we run like this, right? We run like that, okay. But yeah, super comfy. I love these sunglasses from Gooder. The most important thing when you're a runner is to have a watch. Um, I love Garmin. I've worn Garmin since I started running 10 years ago. I started with a, the Vivo Active Garmin watch, which is pretty inexpensive. This one I have is a Forerunner, I don't know what number it is, but it's a Garmin Forerunner. And I just got this new, the new band. You can buy the bands separate. Like, it comes with the band, obviously, but you can buy more bands that are different colors. So I just got this turquoise one to put on there. But the cool thing about having a watch is it tracks your heart rate, it tracks your steps, it tracks when you're going out in a run. It'll let you know how many miles you've gone. Um, especially when you start getting competitive and you want to start um, working on your performance and increasing your speed and stuff, you could do intervals, you could do, um, you know, track your pace. Um, this one, most watches now, um, they sync to your phone, so if you get a text message, it shows up on your watch. If you get a phone call, it shows up on your watch so that you don't always have to be on your phone when you're out in a run. Um, mine also um, has the weather on it and, um, has my how many calories I burned yeah so it's pretty cool this one is I think this one was under a hundred dollars you can get pretty crazy with watches and spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars but until you're like getting into big ultra races and stuff like that you really don't need anything super fancy um, but I love Garmin for running watch brand it's a great brand great um, great products another thing I recommend for beginner runners is having a plan and also having a running journal. It's important when you are starting running that you don't do too much too soon. Um, I always like to say don't increase your mileage more than 10% each week. So if you start at 10 miles a week, don't go more than 10% of that the next week. So make sure you have a plan in place of how you're going to increase your mileage and your workouts and don't just go out blind thinking that you can go and run 10 miles and then you get injured and you're frustrated. So make sure you have a plan. I love this running journal. I got this on Amazon. Um, it is by Mernie Sumba. I will leave it in the description. It's the 365 day running journal. It has a goals page and it has a results page so you can log all your races in there. And then it has goes by weeks 
and let me go to a blank page. So it says week 24, and then you log all your runs in there for each week. And this kind of helps keep you on track. It keeps you motivated. It kind of, you can look back and see how you've improved and grown over the weeks. Really, really great journal. Highly recommend this. You can get this on Amazon for like under $12. I think this was like 11 something. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Just give it a thumbs up and press that subscribe button. Um, would really appreciate your support and for you to follow me on this running journey and to see more coaching videos. Um, if you have any questions on any of the items that I showed in this video, um, feel free to comment or message me and I can answer any of those. Um, if you have any other items that you think are great for runners or beginner runners, um, leave them in the comments for people to see. I'll talk to you guys later. See you at the next video. All right. Love you guys. Happy running. Bye.